Welcome back yet again for another Vintage Cube Draft here on magicthegathering.internet slash utwitch.tubes. I am your host, Frank Lepore, and I'm here with another stipulation draft by Erdathor. And the stipulation is your deck can only contain even converted mana costs or odd converted mana cost cards. You don't have to decide which until you build your deck so you can leave your options open. Uh, you are also allowed to change between even and odd when sideboarding if you can manage that. Uh, zero is even for the sake of the stipulation and for the sake of numbers in general, I think. And power can fit into either deck. So if we draft an Ancestral Recall, we can fit it into the even the odd deck. Or if we draft a Time Walk, we can fit that into the, the odd deck. Yes. Ancestral Recall, we can fit into the even deck. That's what I meant. You get, you get what I'm saying. So we don't actually... The, the, the power is the only thing that breaks the stipulation. As, as per usual... Because no one wants to draft ancestral and leave it on the on the sidelines. So, also we are we just hit our our magic ten trophies, so that's good. Can't stop farting has twenty eight. So congrats to can't stop farting. Good good on you. Did that national internet outage hit? You? I have what? No, I'm right here. I'm here with you guys. No national internet outage. This is the, a long time for this queue to fire. I have been impressed. Today is a very odd even day. The, the stipulation we did previous to this was that you can only take the first... In the first pack, you can only take the odd cards. Second pack, you can only take the even cards. All right. I'm going to sort it... Oh, it's actually... Did it default to sorting back to color again? That's interesting. Because last draft, we sorted by rarity, and now it's sorted by color again. So that's pretty cool. I like the color better because I could always just look toward the back of the pack to find power. Or I can look at the blue section. Phyrexian Metamorph is even. Dragonlord Ojutai is odd. This is interesting because you have to actually think about what might come back too. If I take this, what other even cards are going to come back? Baleful Strix probably not. Ojutai might come back, which makes me lean a little bit more towards something like Reanimate or Emrakul. Interesting. Also, you can think, like, if you have a reanimate deck, you can play reanimate, but you can't play exhume. You can play unburial rites. You can't play makeshift mannequin. You can't have gristlebrand in your deck. Or you can flip it and have gristlebrand, but then you can't have reanimate or unburial rites. So. And then you got to hope you get those specific cards. So I'm not sure if going for a combo deck is really what you want to do. I'm going to take the Phyrexian Metamorph and see where that leads us. All right, I already don't like it. I want Council's Judgment now. Can't have it. Oh, I could. I could. You know, we, could we could take whatever we want. It's just a matter of not being able to play the cards that we don't. I don't think it's actually possible to overlap, though, because you'd have to draft 23 of each of each even and each odd. And uh, that's 46 cards. And, like, because they're different casting costs, they're not going to overlap. So... I think we'll just take the Signet here. Let's just see what we can do with even lands. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx, third pick. <gasps> also, it makes turns weird. Like, it should make, like, turn three kind of weird, where you're like, well, I guess I played two drop. Wait, what is the stip? Wow, Illusion Design GG. 13,000 month subscriber doesn't know how to use the stip command. Actually amazing. So proud. And so sad at the same time. Mostly sad. No pride. But I love you, Rob. Music Manly knows what's up. Give him hell. I think Architect of Thought's really good. I would take Colonnade, but we have no reason to be white yet. Uh, we also have an Orzhov Signet to splash either white or black. I like... I like Jace here. I like a Noxious Gearhulk. G no Gideon, no History. Blink of an Eye is actually a little more powerful than I expected it to be. Tide Hollow Scholar is an option, but I think I like Gear Hulk. We just had a whole Gear Hulk conversation. I think it's Blink here. Like, again, I have no reason to go into Black, and I think Blink is pretty good. Azorius Signet. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is going quite well. Quite, quite well. And we're not really missing anything here. Oh, yeah. Azorius Signet. Not close. Burn, 
So that video, I just got a YouTube copyright claim for that Into Club video. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Oh, good times. Looks a little bit like this, just so in case you guys are curious. For like one for my birthday, where they were like, "Oh, I'm playing in the club." Copyright on earner usage content ID claims some material in your video. This is just a heads up. Video title: Magic Online Vintage Cube Simulation. Copyright in the club <laughs> claimed by UMG. Thanks. Sounds good. Control magic seems very good. This is fantastic. I'm having a good time with this stipulation already. Well, nothing here though. Lingering Souls is great. We'll just take the. Maybe just take the. Eh, we can take the Brain Maggot actually. These are both white though, so I'm more inclined to be a white deck. What if we just consecrate Sphinx into Armageddon? I think it was 26 seconds, but yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I'm actually gonna be like, hey, this is within copyright. I'm gonna watch their video and make sure that's the case, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna dispute it. I need my 20 bucks on that video or whatever. Uh, I guess it's Armageddon here. Dang. Oh no, Dragon Lord Ojitai, why? This is so good for our deck, too. <laughs> wow, that's some quick math there, chat. I'm going to take this disenchant. I have to. I have to fight it because... Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk. Oh, we can build around. This is a build around right here, boys. Oh, literally nothing. Eh, Shallow Grave is not nothing, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, no. No. Oh boy, Magma Jet it is. Oh, Lightning Helix. Actually, if we get. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, Leyline's probably a thing. If they're Storm and we Leyline, it's actually pretty insane. Ewok, we did we did trophy. We're at we're at ten now. Oh, Zergo Butt Striker. Shallow Grave confirmed to be something. That is correct. Correct. Yeah, I'd rather just have... Like, I mean, I'm not going to take an Ojitai for single thing over a disenchant... Wow, this pack is brutal. I guess Day of Judgment... No Moldrifter, no Lyra for us. Spellskite is an option. I think I just want the Day of Judgment. This feels like a Day of Judgment-y deck. It's playable. We also have two Signets for it. Celestial Colonnade didn't come back, unfortunately. I think I'm actually I'm, I'm actually at my limit for, for mono bluing in this format. Sun Titan's good. Ten trophies cheer. Thank you so much, Chad. Really appreciate it, buddy. Always a pleasure, my, my friend. My, uh, my good friend, my good buddy, Chad. Oh, God, he's being so weird. Blightsteel Colossus is indeed a 12 casting cost if we get a Tinker. But we can't play Tinker. Dang it! We could search for a Tezzeret. Can't play Tezzeret. And also, you'd have to have it at 12, so that's not going to happen. I think it's just Sun Titan. We don't have anything for Sun Titan except for Signets. Thing in the Ice works, but like we literally have one blink of an eye and one Day of Judgment to trigger it. And if Day of Judgment's triggering it, I don't think it's working out for us. I think I'd rather just have Sun Titan here. Or we could actually take the Dark Slick Shores in case we want to play Black as well. Which might... I think leaving our options open for that is probably pretty good. Oh, tr uh, 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 true name Nemesis. I got real excited and then I got real sad. This is an emotional roller coaster. This is a zero, right? This has no casting cost, so this counts, right? God, we can't even take Porcelain Legionnaires. Our packs are literally like Ancestral Vision or Knight. True Name feels like power. Now you're playing with power. True Name Nemesis power. Yeah, there you go, Chad. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to take Ancestral here. We could have the double... Ooh. Stoneforge Mystic is neat, but like we literally can't take any of the swords. We can only take Umazawa's Jitte. It's like the only card we can actually get with... With the Stoneforge Mystic. 
Yeah, we're just going to take Frosty here. Man, no Banishing Light, no Ponder. This is brutal. Because there's so many cards in the in the cube that you actually need on odd colors, you know? Like, I'm looking at my curve and I'm like, where's my 5 drops at? We technically have one 3 drop. It's kind of like cheating, though. Zondarian, hi Frank, watch you on YouTube and can't work out how to sub on my mobile. Big fan, best energy you out there. Snipe idea, strip idea, cannot attack, preferably with at least one big fatty. Oh, the oh, not attack stipulation. I'm such not a big fan of it. I'm going to take the Linvala. I don't think it's contempt just because double black is pretty hard, but it might actually be a necessary evil. I'm going to take the Linvala because it actually just shuts off certain decks. Oh, man. Not being able to take things like Baneslayer is super super sad it could just be Tezzeret but we only have two artifacts so we're never going to hit this guy actually is terrible so we got one, two literally two spells for him right now even Torrential Gear Hulk is not great in our deck I can't actually think of the last time I, I did a... St I, like, the only... Like, the problem with not attacking is the only real deck you have is basically Storm. Okay, I do like Venser here a lot, so that's good. Because even Planeswalkers need to attack to win. Um, yeah, alright, this is playable. Also, we could just take Ultimate Price, which is good for... It makes our Torrential Gear Hulk a little better, and we can cast it off of these two. But this does deal with things. I think it's it's got to be this because this deals with things that we don't have answers to. Like planeswalkers and things. Oh. So sad. I should have went odd. <laughs> he said regretfully. Maybe the last pack's going to be our odd pack. No, Sun Titan came back. That's not bad. Yeah, no attacking feels like more like, like play until they concede. And then like... Actually, Knight of the White Orchid's pretty good for us. And we can get it back with the Sun Titan. We can usually find a land. I'll take the Stoneforge. We could get a Jitte. I don't think there's any four mana equipment in this cube. I agree. We do live in a society, people. You're right. Get it together. Oh, Banishing Light? Whatever. Maybe we'll switch to the odd deck. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, come on, a bunch of even cards. Not all planeswalkers need. To, yeah, but which ones are winning the game when they don't attack? Silver Blade Pal Paladin. I don't foresee us playing black. And also, we took that over Sun Titan, which just came back anyway. Shallow Grave is actually reasonable, I guess. Is that buyback? Oh no, it's just literally. Oh, ho 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 ho! Hopefully, hero or phantasmal image come back because those are the only cards we want. We're taking the ancestral. We're taking Dub's ancestral here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Sower of Temptation is nice. Probably better than Amiria Angel. We do have Control Magic and Phyrexian Metamorph. We don't need Fetch Lands though. I think we're just taking the Sower. A mirror angel will realistically probably come back. Oh, Jace Vryn's Prodigy. That's a good one. Actually, Lightning Greaves. Oh, Teferi. Dang. Dang it. Gristle Daddy. Is there any realistic way we can put Gristle Daddy into play with this deck? We can discard it and then bury it and then shallow grave him. Otherwise, I think not. I think it's Abby Jace. Yeah, Jace is very good. Oh, this is a good game. Oh, oh. boy things are all things are coming up maybe this Gideon comes back too oh baby oh 
I'm full of bad ideas. <laughs> Zondarian, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it, buddy. Um. Oh, Elspeth is great. Our four drop is looking uh, actually way more full than I thought it was. It was just because uh, I had a bunch of these. I moved this guy over here, and then they just started putting fours on top of this guy instead. But we do have mana drain, so. Oh, Resto? I don't hate Shambling Vent either. Resto could be good. What are we Restoing, though? Um, Sower of Temptation, Venser. Frost Titan, Sun Titan. We could just save something else. Yeah, we're just taking the Resto. We have no real reason to play black in this deck, so. Remand? This is great. Yeah, I'll take a Remand. Looter could be good. We have Sun Titan. It, it, it actually helps us hit our things. We already have Mana Drain. Huh. Actually, Gear Hulk might be more playable now that we have... We have these three. I think that's it, though, right? Yeah, that's still not a ton. I just feel like three targets is not enough for... Um, for the dude. I'm going to take this guy. Oh, Sea Chrome Coast. All right, that's pretty good. I don't think we want a Relic Warder. We do have a Disenchant on the side, but we're also unexpectedly absent in the deck. We don't really need a Daze. I'm just going to take the Coast because we have no real fixing here. What up, Beaston? Yeah, we're not going to be. In, we're not going to probably end up playing. Oh my God, the Hero of Bladehold came back. Oh, that's just gas. I guess you actually could target Unexpectedly Absent for zero. That's a good point. And the Mirror Angel came back as we figured it would. Yeah, seems fine. I might like a Mirror Angel better than Linvala. I think I think it's better in the main deck than a Linvala. I would like another two drop here. This deck actually looks surprisingly okay. I think we could just play Disenchant in the main deck in this format, so... Uh, I'll just take a gift sign given. Why not? Supreme Verdict? Sure. We already have Day of Judgment. Why not? Honor of the Pure. That's actually interesting in this deck. Almost all of our creatures are... No, maybe not. Well, actually a lot of them are. Hero of Bladehold, Amiri Angel, Elspeth. It's really good with all of those. I think it's a little too a little too narrow, but I think we just want disenchant because we can't have something like banishing light in the deck. So I think disenchant's probably pretty good. And we also have twelve creatures, so I don't really I'm not really feeling bad about our creature count. Yeah, I actually like this deck a lot, surprisingly. I mean, all things considered. I wonder if we Maze of it here. I don't think so. 9-7. It's 8-10. Airing on the side of blue. We have double white, double blue. White, white, white. Blue, 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 blue. Blue, 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 blue. I think we just have way more blue than white. So that's, that's really weird that they air on the side of white there. Oh, no, they don't. They air on the side of blue. Okay, good. Yeah, that seems good. Plus, both of these make white, and only one of them makes blue. I mean, does Gearhulk have good target? We also have three six drops. I really don't want a fourth six drop. But I think we only have, like, four targets. I think these are the only targets for... And this, sure. For zero. So it's just literally put on top. I mean, I don't think... I don't think Gearhulk is... or Yeah, I don't think Gearhulk is better than any of these. Maybe it's better than Sun Titan. Yeah, I could see it being better than Sun Titan. All right. I'll do that. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. I need a hero.
yeah, the sand seems great. Turn three, Jace. We are on the draw, though, so they could do some shenanigans. I wish we had some faster mana, but, I mean, this is as good as we're going to get. We could also go turn two, Signet, draw Knight of the White Orchid, and then get to... Oh, no. I didn't even know this guy was in the cube. I don't think Void Winnower is in the cube, nor do I think anyone's going to be casting Void Winnower, if it were. But uh, I can appreciate the enthusiasm. Um, one, two, three, four. Let's go Jace. And we'll plus Jace. Jace can take one. Gilded Lotus. See, this is why we put the main deck disenchant in here, because that thing's bonkers. Bonkers. Baby back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Um Firebolt you can put in the in your hand, I guess. Or the graveyard, I don't know. God, I really want to just bounce this Gilded Lotus. I think we're gonna bounce it with Fencer next turn. Do they play a land this turn? Turn four. So what do we want in your hand? I think that's good. You can tinker for something if you'd like. Oh, you had a Fumeral. Okay, so you took Island, Titan, something else. Firebolt. Okay. So. Let's draw. We're trying to hit a distant chance so we can get rid of the Gilded Lotus. Oh, Mana Drain seems baller. B -b 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 -ball. They're probably going to have Mana Drain by itself. Yep, that's what I would assume you would do. Still going to take it. Still seems very good. Actually, we should have, we did that wrong. Now Jace dies. I forgot they weren't going to untap this. Three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, they still would have had eight mana. So they would have had three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, replay that Firebolt, our guy. Oh, they're just going to Firebolt Jace. Yeah, that makes sense then. I could care less about the... I think we, well, I'm just 100% blocking here. This is great because we get to just keep up Mana Drain for Sun Titan, and we still get to play Restoration Angel. We could have actually kept Venser alive uh, just to rest of the Venser, but I'd rather just get Young Pyromancer out of the way. Especially when they have Firebolt in the graveyard. Oh, this is interesting. So we know you have... What land did you play this turn? You played an, uh, none yet. Okay, so we know you have an island... So if you're not playing Sundering Titan this turn, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Blink it. And if you're going to let us get in with a Luteral Core, that is more than okay. Mountain. So we still know you have the island in hand. That's pretty good. So your hand is Island Titan, and then you just have a top. Okay. Mm 
When does this come off? Like a million turns? Well, that's pretty perfect. I mean, if you want to keep activating the Wandering Fumarole, that is more than fine. I guess we could block it, though. Yeah, we're, we're way behind here. Ancestral off the top? An island. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, they know we have Mana Drain. We know they have Island Titan. So. I will top during my upkeep. Like you do. They have 12 mana. That's a good amount of mana. That is an, a disconcerting amount of mana. You will never draw three cards, or them. Whoever cast that. I'm like halfway paying attention. Destiny Trigger, you're doing good. You're doing fine. What? They drew a card at the top? During their upkeep? So the top's just in their hand now? Very confused. I mean, if they have Counterspell of their own, it's good. We know the top is in their hand. I mean, they know we have mana drain. They gave it to us, so. Yeah, I'm definitely blocking this Wandering Fumarole. If they attack with both, I'll just block the other guy and take four more just to get all the bodies off the board. Yeah, this is an easy trade. Trade a land for a flyer, sure. That's pretty good, but they have Firebolt in the graveyard. Yikes. I mean, I'd rather play this when they don't have Firebolt in the graveyard, but that does consume an entire turn of theirs. One, two, three, four, five. Leaves them with seven mana. We could also counter the firebolt doesn't do much we are going to draw three cards next turn yeah we'll just play jace here if they want to firebolt it that's fine that doesn't mean luteral core gets in for another card so we get to see three cards from ancestral one card from the top and one card from the looter so we get to see five cards next turn which is a lot I don't understand this activate top look at the top three is it some kind of shenanigans where you like I'm trying to figure out how that benefits you I guess because you can put the top like third down and draw two cards but I mean it just doesn't really seem like that big of a deal you could also just put the cards you want on the top and then draw that one all right top and titan so I assume we're going to mana drain this. You're going to counter it. You know we have it. So you counter back with like Mystic Confluence or something. All right. Oh, you countered your own guy. Sure. That's pretty cute. I mean, now you... That's... We get to flip Jace too. Wow. This turn worked out very well for us. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Control magic, your sundering titan. Metamorph, your sundering titan. Seems good. Unexpectedly absent something. Get rid of you. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sphinx. And we'll just play a land here because they're gonna kill two of our lands, so. So now they have Sundering Titan in hand. And Oh, Gear Hulk into Mana Drain. I mean They're welcome to play their Sundering Titan again. They have to kill one of their own lands, so like sure. We'll just control magic metamorph it and kill two more of their lands. It seems fine. I need a hero. Just try and get cute with your top now, I dare you. I'll play Divining Tap. I'll not play it. Mm. I'll play it. And then I'll activate it with my Basalt Monolith Mana. Here we go, I'm gonna play it now. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm, I'm gonna activate it now. Okay, I did it. I'll, I'm gonna draw a card right in response. <laughs> okay, well, they did not. Fill my hand, little man. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana now. Not as good. We do need to hit a land here, but I mean, we have Consecrated Sphinx, Lyro, Core, and Draw Step, so it seems possible. Wow, yes, please. Okay, we hit it. Oh, we're probably going to copy that guy and then steal the Sundering Titan. Let's constrict your mana just a little bit. Oh, that's a good thing too. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Um, hmm. Well. That's pretty good. Play a land. Oh, let's do it the other way. One, two. Nope, nope, nope. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, unfortunately. We gotta kill our own, but I think we're still fine. So if they get rid of either of these, they lose two lands, we lose none. I mean, they have to pay three mana to untap the monolith, so I'll just wait till they do that. Um, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't really care about that at the moment. If they have any way to get rid of these Sundering Titans, they just lose a million. I mean, we don't win that turn with Elspeth's Jump. They're at like 15, right? I mean, we will next turn, I assume. Yep, this is all fine. Uh, 
Got him with our odd even deck. That's a pretty good. Uh, Leyline doesn't, or not Leyline, uh, Linvala seems pretty interesting. Leyline is funny because they can't actually target you with uh, True Name Nemesis. Sundering Titan doesn't target a player, right? Well, I'm not concerned with how many six drops because we took one out. So. Aren't all decks odd even decks? A valid question, my friend. A valid question. Do do do. Do, 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 do. True name nemesis targets the player, doesn't it not? Oh, is it choose? It might be choose a player. Yeah, it's choose. Okay, so that that does not work. Um, I think our deck is fine, and I also don't think we have many sideboard options for this particular situation. Guys, I'm surprised at how well this deck performed. Oh yeah, we could have actually unex we could have unexpectedly absent the uh, the metamorph, put it on the very top during like during upkeep, so we can replay it that turn, and just get rid of like four of their lands. That seems pretty dirty. The dirtiest, you might say. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand solely because of ancestral and also because of sower. So I guess not solely because of Ancestral. Actually, Day of Judgment seems actually pretty good in this. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, I like going Sea Chrome Coast into th into nothing. And then next turn we can play Knight into something. Eight cards. This is probably better than discarding here. They can remand it, get a guy. It's totally fine. Knight of the White Orchid actually does some work against this idiot. Idiot being young Pyromancer, not my opponent. That would be inappropriate. Incinerate our face. That's just fine because we have Knight in hand, so... Free land is gas. Um, guess we'll keep a blink of an eye. So now they draw young pyromancer. Seems good. Two, three, four, five. Next turn we can just consecrate sphinx. Yep. A braid. This guy. I'm actually one, two, three, four, five. I'm actually just tempted to bounce this. Because it's a very good blocker, but I don't think I care enough. I think we'll take one and just play Consecrated Sphinx. They have three cards. Like, we go to basically a million. Oh god, this comes off next turn, too. Oy vey. We could also just, um... Steal the young Pyromancer with Sower and then blink one of the tokens. We have nine cards. We gotta play two things, which is not not terrible. I really don't wanna play Consecrated Sphinx here. We did get a copyright strike for in the club. <laughs> we could also just play double Jace. Which I think is pretty good.
All right. Double Jace on deck. Next turn we can go Signet, Jace, keep up Blink. Maybe that's a thing. Got Dub's Ancestrals in the graveyard. We're also, we're, we're both Jace Tribal and we're Ancestral Tribal right now. Are you attacking with his... Oh, okay. <laughs> you attacking with your Wandering Fumeral? Oh, a Koth of the Hammer. Okay. Alright. Jace is probably going to go to three here. Um, yeah, I'm not blocking with Jace here. One thing we can do is... Steal, no, play Elspeth, jump this Jace to make him three, and then attack Koth. Seems pretty good. We could also just steal this and blink the land, but we can't because that's not how blink works. So I made that up and lied to you. Can also just see what we get. And we got an island. Jace Tribal. Do 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 do. We could just flash we could just put Koth. We could tuck Koth somewhere, somewhere else. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Do we play land this turn? We did. So what we can do is go sower, steal this guy. Make a guy. I feel like we're very far ahead here. So we know they're going to have cough next turn. JJ flipped. What's going on, buddy? I, I, I'm not sure if this is the Frank Lepore or not. Can either confirm nor deny. Oh, interesting. Put Koth in one pile. Sheldock in one pile. And I don't care about these three. That is just fine. So you took the Sheldock and the Koth. Okay. So 23 cards and 19 cards. This is a free spell at this point. Um, everything we do is a free spell, though, so that's fine. Plus you. Plus you. <laughs> Just Jace value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8... One, two, three, four, five, six. We can play Elspeth queue up Blink of an Eye, which is nice, because then we get an extra token, and then we get to draw a card, and we also get to deal seven damage here. We might just want to start Consecrated Sphinxing, though. Maybe we still get to queue up Blink of an Eye. Seems good. Run after midnight. Once we click that from upkeep to draw button, it's just like gas. Yes. We can also keep blink of an eye up to save our own consecrated sphinx, which is pretty sweet. Thank you. 
Metathon, welcome back. Thank you so much, man. 13 months in a row. Really appreciate the support. Rocking out to midnight. Yeah, let's see the Sundering Titan. Zealous Conscripts. Okay. What do you take here? Conscripted Sphinx? That doesn't seem great. You could take Jace and Ultimate Jace. I'm probably just gonna if you could try to take if you try to take my Jace Telepath Unbound, I'm probably just gonna blink it. Because then you get a free Charter Course or a free Incinerate or a free Abrade. Yeah, you can actually take Jace, negative three Jace, and then Abrade. Uh, the Sower to get back your own Young Pyromancer. All of that seems very good. I would probably take Jace. But then I'm just going to bounce the Jace. Okay. That's intriguing. I just don't feel like you should have this. Sorry, I don't think that's correct. You could remand it. I guess you do. So we lose Jace, but we get to keep our Blink, which is pretty good. And we get to draw cards from that too. Wow, that's gas. The most gasoline ever. Yes, please. Alright, so we're losing AJ's here. Look at this hand, dude. Yep, we can't really deal with that, unfortunately. And we will block you with a tiny gentleman. Yep, this is going pretty well. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We can deal you right now. So we can go one, two, for Signet, and then we can keep up both Mana Drain and Blink. Yeah, let's do that. That seems pretty good. I think you might be dead here. I'm going to draw two more cards because I have 13 cards in my deck. That's, that's a good amount. This deck has a lot of card advantage and eventually that overcomes all things. That was a good game. I, uh, I'm not sure if it was a good game for our opponent so much, but it was. We had a good time. Let's keep it up. Ooh, this hand is rough. This is one of the worst hands because you get the, the four drops and nothing else because you can't have one or three drops. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this because I think we can do better. And we did by a sizable margin. Not going to be greedy. I'll keep you on top. Oh, the old hissing quaggles. So we go to 8, and then we go to 9, and then we just play Looter and Island. Oh, and then the following turn we can play Knight. That's gas. Such gases. Such noble gases. Um, can I kill that? No. It's okay, they only have one forest right now, so. 
It's okay. Famous last words. It's no big deal. It's just a Rafelos. Oh, one forest Rafelos. This is great. Okay. That's fine. I'll take two. Yep. Freebie. Island. Reserve. <laughs> Seems good. Okay. Rafelos does look like a dork. Look at that. We're ahead on mana, too. We're doing very well for ourselves. Also, our Torrential Gear Hulk is online now, thanks to this Ancestral. Hey, this seems a pretty good. Oh, man. Paying for that Bone Shredder? He's like, well, I have to have something for my recurring nightmare, you see. This feels like a Day of Judgment matchup. How do we still have all these lands? Peace out. I mean, this guy at, at best is the same as this, only with one more power. And if they hit another forest, it's just far better. So. so it's under beneath the top three cards. So it goes card, 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 two, three, rof. Whatever this is, I'm going to metamorph it. I just want to be clear about that. And I just hope you don't counter it. I hope it's not ever cool for 15. I guess that's all I really want. Oh god, what is this? What are you doing? Green sun for nine. Okay. Even if it's Terastodon and you kill three of my lands, I still get to make another Terastodon and then... Yeah, that's fine. Now we're just going to have an army of nine nines. Or three threes and a nine nine to go with it. We're probably just going to kill our own lands at this point, so... I'm actually less concerned with this than... Uh, plus, they took a million from their own. They block here. They take they take eight. So if we actually can get rid of this, we just win. Well, we can't kill his Terastodon. <laughs> That's not how that works. But I will attack with everyone. This is This is an aggressive play. Oh, we could have bone shredded and killed it. That was that was pretty good. We should have done that, I think. Guys, that was the correct play. I don't know why I didn't kill the friggin' bone shredder. I just want more elephants now. They're at one. I want to pretend we're fine. God, chat had correct lethal. It's unbelievable to me. One, two, three, one, two, three. So they have to put three bodies on the board. This is style points, and I'm okay with that. Okay, they, we win anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Long hair, don't care. This is a Linvala matchup for sure. This is a Day of Judgment matchup for sure as well. So we're going to bring both of those in. We will cut the Disenchant. We didn't see any targets for that. That seems good. Yeah, man. Like if you're watching, if you're watching uh, our drafts and expecting the most top-notch plays, uh, you may get some. I've top aided a pro tour and a grand prix in my day. However, most of it's for the for the fun. So, also, it's very aggressive to kill three of my lands, give me three elephants, go to one, and still leave me with at least three creatures on board. That's a lot.
That means any creature is is just lethal. You know how lethal works? I'm out of here. Thanks for the great games. And always, you're welcome to the Double Digit Trophy on my set. <laughs> Music Manly. Thanks so much, buddy. Always a pleasure, pal. I appreciate the support. Uh, This hand is, is suspect, but we have both Vryn and Looter. So, okay. This hand's a lot slower than the last one, so. No blocks. All right, we didn't do anything here. We kind of want a planes, to be quite honest. That's not a planes at all. This is still pretty good. I mean, we have control magic and Jace next turn, so. Ooh, well, we have Control Magic or Jace now. The awesome Delps some chat actually had lethal bits. Nice. <laughs> it is a rare one, but it's a good one. Oh, you took my Control Magi. Oh, my little Magi. Get to draw two cards next turn. I mean, we technically don't get to draw them, but if Ancestral is one of them, boy, it's very good. No attacks whatsoever, so you get to keep four mana, three mana up. Pretty aces. That's a good one, but it doesn't let us play what we want to this turn. Yeah, we're going to discard that. This guy can't block, so. Surprised you didn't attack with elves, unless you have something for three you want to play? Yep, discard you. All right, land's just going, just filling up the yard here. You can't counter Jace. You're going to beast within it? I could see that. <laughs> that isn't, well, I would say a swamp is the opposite of a plains or a mountain, but, you know, I guess we agree to disagree. All right, you get rid of... So I can't imagine you have Channel in your hand if you're discarding Battle Sphere. You could have, like, Exhum, though. Or Reanimate. Shriek Maw. Okay.
Yep, Jace will take one. Isn't a swamp just a somewhat dirty plains? Mountain would be more the opposite. Yeah, I, I would say a mountain. Oh, and burial rights. Sure. Sure. Well, we just have to deal with this, I guess. I like, like that we got the disenchant out of the deck. They don't have any white mana, which is good. So this puts a fourth card in the graveyard, and then Jace will actually flip here. That's what we wanted. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Signet here. I might just Venser this guy, plus Jason, then Venser this guy. Seems pretty okay, and if they... I don't really have anything I want to discard here. I guess if we hit a land, it's good, but I guess we can discard the knight. Yep, that seems fine. They only have five lands, so we know they have a Shriek Maw in hand, which is a cutie. Isn't a Pop Tart just a sandwich? No! Oh, God, no. Not okay. This was last game, right? Maybe. No, I think that was. Maybe that was this game? I don't know. No, because they had Rafaela's last game because they had Savannah. Yeah. All right. I feel like taking the damage here, so I'm actually just going to bounce this guy. I mean, they get more guys when it comes down, but we still have Jace to plus. And they're not really doing anything super impressive right now. I guess they could kill Venser. We also have Torrential Gear Hulk with Unexpectedly Absent in the graveyard, which just puts the dude on the top again. We're just going to just make them keep casting their guy. And actually, we could probably, probably try to ultimate this Jace at some point. You killed Venser. Oh, you killed Looter. Okay. Oh, wowie, kazowie. I actually kind of just want to try to ultimate this Jace. They didn't play a land. This Also, the uptick is way more valuable at this point, I think. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Passing with Resto up seems very, very good. Is a Pomp Tart just sweet ravioli? I want to say no, but I mean, fundamentally, maybe? Also, blinking resto, uh, blinking Venser with resto is pretty good because it just uh, counters the mirror battle sphere. That's a blank. That's a whifferino. Any land is also just insane. Torrential Gear Hulk or Frost Titan are both very, very good when they're already crimped on mana due to uh, mirror battle sphere in hand. If they get a white though, it's pretty okay. Did he choose even or odd? I'll never tell. Green Sun for two. I mean, they're just going to get a Rafelos, right? Yeah. We'll blink it. Oh, that's a land, all right. Okay, plus, plus, 
I think we can actually ultimate Jace this game. And I think it's going to be pretty sweet. Unfortunately, actually, aren't we, don't we have one more six drop? We have Frost Titan, Torrential Gear Hulk, and what was the other one? Oh, Consecrated Sphinx. That's the one. That's the one. I still didn't find a burrito place here in Germany close by? Man, what a bummer. All right, what are you discarding here? Actually, we are two turns away from ulting both Jaces. That's... Whew. They got to come up with an answer here. They can get a Bone Shredder. Bone Shredder's pretty good, but it doesn't really solve the problem. And it does tie up your mana. Are we winning this game with just double Jace on board? All I want to do is draft the cube. I got, yep, it is Bone Shredder. Bone Shredder's ready. That's from Spider-Man, in case you guys didn't know that. That might have a drawsy to counter the mill. I don't well, I don't care about the mill. I just want to actually get both dudes. We haven't seen an Eldrazi. Recurring nightmare. Whew. That's a heck of a drug. That's fine. Sack a mirror, get back mirror battle sphere. It still just doesn't do anything. I mean, you have Bone Shredder in hand. We can also actually Torrential Gear Hulk the uh, unexpectedly absent to get rid of Kite Sail Freebooter, which leaves us with no permanents in hand, no no non uh, non creature permanents, and then we can get back. Um, we can just steal something like their battle sphere, which doesn't seem great at the moment, but. So maybe they have Bone Shredder in hand. That's pretty good, I guess. I really don't want a Torrential Gear Hulk here, but I really don't want a not Torrential Gear Hulk either. So I think we actually just put this dude on top. Okay, this guy. So now they just have to draw it next turn. And then we're also going to play Frost Titan and tap down their green source, or their black source. And now we're probably going to start attacking with Resto. Because, boy, I want to win the game eventually. And if they want to block with Kite Self Rebooter, sounds good. So we know they're drawing uh, Battle Sphere. And they don't have a black mana. So that's good. That means we should be able to survive this turn and ultimate both these guys. So what are they discarding here? Bone Shredder, which we just searched for. Is there a green card that comes into play this turn? Is there a creature that you can come into play? Or fellows? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. So we know we can get Terastodon, which is pretty good. Oh boy. The problem is if we ultimate these Jaces and we don't have a way to survive. That was actually a great draw there. We might actually take one more turn off. One, two, three, four. They can... Because having Jace on board against all of these guys is, seems pretty relevant. 
They could also discard something to get their best guy out of their deck. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go this way. Whenever you cast a spell, they put the top five cards of their library into their graveyard. This actually might be worth it though. Because then we get an Orzov Signet, we get Blink of an Eye. Cool. I'm still going to tap their black mana down because I don't want them to cast things. And we can still do... Yeah, like, so this guy's irrelevant, this guy's irrelevant. This guy's big. But we do have blink. So we can actually tap... Actually, you have Recurring Nightmare, so we're going to tap your black source down again. Yeah, we can bounce Shriek Maw, block these two if they don't actually... If they attack with them, so... Does Big J also cast them? You may cast those cards. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh, we're getting rid of the Shriek Maw here. Three, four, five, six. That's actually a good deal. I was actually going to bounce the Shriek Maw anyway, so I wouldn't have to deal with the attacks next turn. So I think we're going to do that now anyway and see what we hit. All I want to do is discard things. I got a feeling. Discard acidic slime. What are you getting here? Let's see. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You have nine mana. Well, that is good. Got rid of channel. That is a thing. And, that, like, to be fair, they could have actually... Oh, wow. They could have actually searched for that in response as well. I don't think... I think we're still really far ahead right now. I mean, as long as they don't have forest in hand, I guess. Any land. It's four. Oh, they're going to play land first. They're going to be like, oh, I forgot. Or they might just not have... Not, they might just not have a land. I don't think you wait this long if you have a land. Oh, I think they just they just stuck an Ulamog in their hand. Oh, <laughs> that's not going to do it. That's not the same at all, good sir. Now we're going to ultimate Jace, see what you have left, and we're going to put a Consecrated Sphinx into play. But maybe that still costs us the game. I don't know. Actually, we're casting both. So yeah, we're just going to ultimate Jace. We're going to cast two spells, um, put Consecrated Sphinx into play. Terastodon. Interesting. Survival of the fittest as well. I guess we just get a Terastodon here. I don't know where the spells went, so. Click any spell to cast it. I don't know where they went. What? <laughs> I don't, it says to hit okay when, when done. Oh god. If this messes up, dude, I'm going to be real upset. Okay. All right, mill you for, for five. You have no more guys left. And then mill you for another five. And then you're dead. You have zero cards in your Librario. This was amazing. 4-0 with this deck. 4-0 with this this stipulate apparently we draft better decks with stipulations than we do when we have no stipulations that's very interesting to me
<laughs> Ancestral Recall seems good. Okay. I'm sure we can draw. We draw four cards, five cards next turn. Three from the Ancestral, one from our turn, one from the following turn. That's good. We just ultimated both Jaces in one game. There's a lot of achievement unlocks, unlocked moments in these in these drafts. I don't actually think we even Ancestral here, really. We go down to six, we go up to nine, and then we go up to ten, and then we play one land, and then we have to discard two cards. That seems bad. Yeah, that guy's good. No, we're gonna want to. We want to hit something to play. So now that we have something to play, it's pretty good. Mana drain is a thing. I think we can skip a turn on the mana drain. We'll have to discard. Yeah, discarding one card here is not bad. I'm fine with that. Professional stipulation drafter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate all the support. Uh, no blocks. Oh, I see. You can have a forest. Well, we're not going to play anything here. Next turn, if they tap out, we can mana drain some... We can mana drain and steal the thrashing Bronto Danto. Uh, you can have I don't want you to play the Raffellos I also don't want you to play Bloodbraid Elf you can have Raffellos so Forest played Raffell I might just counter Raffellos because it lets us play Frost Titan next turn which is pretty pretty good Oh yeah, that's never happening. Let's see what we get here. So we're getting a million lands? Yeah, sure. So we're going to have eight mana next turn. We can go Looter and not Frost Titan though. The two blue mana is kind of a restriction here. We do get to flip Jace though. Blue mana, blue mana, blue mana. That is not a blue mana. So that guy's gone. All right, this this Karn is problematic, but we can always just bounce it. Can we go one, two, Signet, Amira Angel, make an Amiria, make an Angel? Can we do that? It'll be one, two. We use this for this. So we have one, two, two three four we play a land yeah let's do that god our hand is so stacked though i don't really want to discard any of these things if we can play the looter this turn <laughs> another matchup where linvalo would be uh, unbelievable here Actually, Frost Titan could just be better. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so we can actually go Signet Frost Titan. Yeah, that seems good. I'm just going to discard the Mirror Angel. One, two, three. Yeah, we have seven. This is six. So we can go you. Tap you down, make you super small, and pass. And I think our hand is pretty stacked here. Um, oh boy. Non-creature permanent? Do I care about that? I mean, I like it better than Garrick. You can put that in your hand.
This car is riding away. Oh, I see. We can actually steal the Brontodon to kill the Oblivion Ring, which is actually pretty awesome. We could also do it with that. That's pretty good. So one, two, three, four. Your move. That was a sweet two for one. <laughs> I am okay with this. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, we know they have primal command in hand, and these guys are under the under the gun. Uh, you can have Signet. So again, these are your hand. All right, seems good, seems good. Primal Command. You gotta put Jace back, right? Oh, Nissa, that's a good one. That is a very, very good one. I'm impressed. Findhorn Elves, less impressed about those guys. All right, so now we get some really good opportunities to get rid of some things here. We can actually just flash back Ancestral Recall, which is kind of sweet. Which I think we want to do before we start going crazy. Because if they're going to Primal Command this guy, we really want to draw the cards first. This guy's going to be great next turn. So what we want to do is tap down this guy and like get rid of this guy somehow. Maybe we steal it. I don't think that's great though. Because you do want to kill one of these planeswalkers this turn. So we're gonna have Primal Command Celestia Signet. One, two, three. This gets a forest. We have to kill the Nissa. Chain Whirler would be so epic right here. Unbelievably epic. Actually, we can copy Frost Titan, can't we? Let's do that. Uh, let's actually play the Signet first, too. Let's do things correctly. We do have to get them. We will let them get the Rafelos back, but I mean, we're killing Anissa, and I'm not too concerned. Yep. So you have Celestia Singer Primal Command in hand, and one other card, two other cards now, three other cards now when you activate this Karn. One, two, th oh boy, there's a lot of mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is eleven mana. I mean, if they have the Ulmog, they're we, they got it. Uh, you can have Huntmaster over duplicate. <laughs> We're definitely giving them the worst of the two cards every time. Duplicate would have been great. So we know three of the five cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, they only have 10 mana, not 11, so. This is where we go Black, Black, uh, Black Lotus Chain Whirler. 
Yep, that's fine. Being able to untap with Torrential Gearhulk and counter whatever they have with Mana Drain is so ridiculously good. Oh, ah, dang it, Signet, Signet. Okay. Okay, we didn't have to write that down anyway. So now we need to have. Okay, we have you have Primal Command and one other card. Seems good. Which you're probably gonna cast right now. No, you're not. Interesting. No pro blue sword. Did they not get anything? Fails to find an equipment. Oh, the Sword of Fire and Ice is your only equipment. That's gas. That's also gas. So your last card is Primal Command, and we can just literally counter it. We're just trying to get rid of this, this Karn for now. That's a good way to take over this game. And we're going to play a Luteral Core here so that they don't flip this guy, but they still could. Also, Mana Drain next turn is utterly insane because uh, we get to play like Consecrated Sphinx and Sower and Venser in the same turn. One, two, three, four. If we get one blue source. Put a card into your hand. You got it. Which one? Garrick Primal Hunter? Which one? I don't know which one it was. Was it Duplicate? It was Duplicate, right? So you have, you still have mana for, yeah, we're just gear hulking that. They can still primal command this turn, but I don't even care. If they get a creature, we'll sower it. We get six mana next turn, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They only have eight mana, so if they primal command, they can only have three left over. That's pretty good. We get to tap down both of their dudes. Kill this guy, deal them six still. And another five. And another one. Six, twelve, seventeen, eighteen damage. It's almost lethal. Like, we know your last card's Primal Command. All right, so they're just going to cast it here. Target non creature and search. What in the heck? Why would that... Why would you ever put your own Karn back in the deck? Is that lethal? Tap, tap. Yeah, that's lethal. Oh, boy, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I guess we don't need to do that. We can just go... Oh, we don't actually just have to blue at all. I forgot about the stupid floating mana. Six, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. That's exactly lethal. I'm just going to use this mana before we waste it. Oh, all right, we don't have to do it. Seems good. <laughs> that's, hey, that's a gas. We're going to bring in this and this again. 
Disenchant could be relevant. That was a real weird... a real weird target with we're on the draw so knight is actually probably better um took out unexpectedly absent i don't really want to take a disenchant because they do have some targets for it like especially duplicant it's kind of obnoxious but yeah i think that's fine i can go 41 that was a very weird choice. Like, isn't just putting my guy on top just so much better every single time than than putting your own Karn there? <coughs> oh, man. It was like heartburn. That burp helped, though. Hope you guys didn't mind that. Apologies for the, for the straight rudeness. We're going to run out uh, planes first because then we can play Knight. On turn three? Sure. If we draw it, we didn't draw it. So now we can still go make a white, white, knight, play island. Burp ASMR. I'm not sure if that's a legitimate ASMR type, but yeah, we're probably just going to kill that. Uh, or maybe that. Did they miss a land drop? Oh, that's fascinating. No, no, they did not. They did not. Whatever this is, it's going back to Frown Town. Oh, Den Protector. We have no way to make green, right? This is just the thing I don't care about. This is fine. I mean, I'm not gonna. I, mean, I can't stop them from doing this. I mean, if the, if at worst they get a secure tri builder, but I'm gonna disenchant the smuggler's copter. Oh, or a Fellows. Isn't that special? I'm probably going to steal that, because that's a lot of mana for you. Now it's a lot of mana for me. It's actually no mana for us. Yeah, that guy's fine. I'm probably going to take that guy, too. This is just the aggression plan. Just mono aggressions here. Five mana. Acidic slime, that's fine. Yeah, I don't care about that. That is just, just gravy. Now we get to actually attack with everything. Don't care what Rafellos trades with. Well, not we'll not attack with Huntmaster, and then we'll just kill something on their upkeep. Yeah, I feel like our tempo is just way too good right now. They have no cards in hand as well, so no blocks. Choose target, and we'll kill you. So you're going to flip this guy in response, which is fine. You get a smuggler's copter. We can bounce that. Sure. 
sure, Billy. Pretty sure he bounced the wolf, because then you just don't get the key. <laughs> All right, we just win the game. That's pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was excellent. Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, you can check out the links in the description. My Patreon page is on there. I just posted new Frank Thoughts. I'm also going to be posting my top eight Magic Core, Core 2019 cards. And uh, you can also, if you guys want to submit your own stipulation, you can find the info in my Twitch profile below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.